Now, wearing face masks combined with other preventative measures like frequent hand washing and social distancing can help slow the spread of COVID-19 virus. We know that, and that's according to the CDC. But mask wearing continues to be up for debate. Health experts at UW-Madison say healthcare workers are masked all day, and many wear that mask continually while performing surgeries that could last 12 hours or longer. And still, there is no increased risk from breathing carbon dioxide when masked for any amount of time. Experts say people with an aversion to wearing a mask probably aren't wearing the right one. They also clear up the difference between carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Uh, so carbon monoxide is something that's created when an engine is running. So, you know, a tailpipe of a car, they're worried that they're poisoning themselves with carbon monoxide. Uh, human beings don't breathe out carbon monoxide. They breathe out carbon dioxide. Now the mask uh, is not so tight fitting uh, and the fabric is not woven so tightly that carbon dioxide is accumulating inside your mask. I mean, the fabric allows gases to pass in and out. And carbon dioxide and oxygen, those are pretty small molecules. Uh, they're very breathable. It's like any other fabric. When you think about fabrics that are marketed as breathable, that's exactly what it means. It means that air can pass in and out. Both agree that cloth masks are effective for slowing the spread of the virus, and they do protect uh, other people from you, just in case you have COVID and you don't know it.